Hi, in this video let's discuss trigeminal neuralgia. So neuralgia is a condition where there is pain associated with nerve. So in this video let's see what is trigeminal neuralgia, where is important points and also related multiple choice questions. So trigeminal neuralgia is an orofacial neuralgia affecting fifth cranial nerve that is trigeminal nerve. So this trigeminal nerve has three branches ophthalmic, maxillary and mandibular. Of these three second and third divisions that is maxillary and mandibular branches are more commonly affected than ophthalmic branch and the characteristic clinical features of this condition is severe searing lancinating stabbing type of pain and most importantly there are trigger zones associated so trigger zone is an area where upon stimulation there can be an episode of pain usually this episode lasts for few seconds to minutes and this condition characteristically is present only unilaterally. So in very rare cases it crosses the midline. So these are some important relevant points pertaining to this condition. Now let's see the synonyms. So trigeminal neuralgia is also called as further gills disease, trifacial neuralgia or tic dorolex. So tic dorolex is nothing but in some patients after the attack or after an episode of pain there can be spasm of facial muscles. So this is called as tic dorolex. Now coming to the etiological factors, usually even till today this is still controversial. So majority of the cases they are considered to be idiopathic or unknown. But there are few reasons which can be attributed to this condition. For example, peripheral nerve injury or disease of trigeminal nerves, tumors or vascular anomalies or aneurysms or space occupying lesions applying compression forces on the trigeminal nerve or trigeminal ganglion and also because of various demyelinating conditions such as multiple sclerosis and even dental restorations where dissimilar metals can lead to galvanism. So these are some of the factors which are attributed to trigeminal neuralgia but in majority of the cases it is considered to be idiopathic. And coming to the characteristic clinical features, usually it affects older adults about 35 years of age and there is female predilection. So female to male predilection is in the ratio of 3 to 2 and right side of the face is more commonly affected than the left. The reason is not still known. However, right side is more commonly affected than left with a ratio of 1.7 is to 1. And the classical symptoms include pain which is searing, stabbing, lancinating type of pain and in few patients after this painful episode there can be spasm of facial muscles which is called as tic dolorex and within this condition during the early stages the pain is usually mild, aching, boiling or burning type resembling a toothache and this is called as pre-trigeminal neuralgia but as the condition progresses to more advanced stage there can be severe episodes of pain lasting for seconds to minutes and even the patient clutches his or her face with a severe pain and even there are a few cases where the patient tried to a resort to suicide in order to unable to bear this nature of pain and as I mentioned previously it seldom crosses midline so usually this condition is present unilaterally so coming to trigger zones trigger zones are areas which upon stimulation precipitate an attack so these precipitate attack when touched not only when they are touched but also when there is a cold breeze or when the patient smiles or even laughs even that is sufficient to precipitate an attack so trigger zones are characteristically found in this condition trigeminal neuralgia and as you can see here in the image let me just zoom in so trigger zones are usually present on the vermilion border of the lip all of the nose around cheek and also around the orbits right so these are few trigger zones associated with this condition so as i have mentioned previously usually the maxillary and mandibular divisions are more commonly affected than the ophthalmic division right and coming to differential diagnosis the symptoms and the presence of trigger zone are sufficient in order to diagnose a case of trigeminal neuralgia successfully. However, there are various other conditions which mimic trigeminal neuralgia which include the following. Migraine or migraineous neuralgia. So migraine as you all know there will be periodic persistent type of pain usually lasting for a greater duration of time that is for hours together. 
And also in case of sinusitis, there can be pain mimicking this condition. Costen syndrome, also called as mandibular joint neuralgia. Trotter syndrome, where we find tumors present within the nasopharynx. And this can lead to pain along the lower jaw, tongue, side of the head. And also there can be associated middle ear deafness. And post herpetic neuralgia is a condition where there is viral infection commonly involving the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. But this condition usually subsides after two to three weeks after infection. And also the skin lesions help us to diagnose this case of post herpetic neuralgia and we can differentiate this easily from trigeminal neuralgia. And also we have another condition called as trigeminal neuritis or neuropathy. So this differs from neuralgia in the fact that it is more aching type, boiling or burning type and the pain nature is more prolonged. It's not so severe, intense and for short duration as in case of trigeminal neuralgia. But the pain here is more of aching type which is prolonged for weeks or even months together. Right, so this is a differential diagnosis of trigeminal neuralgia. And coming to treatment, historically various treatments were employed in order to provide some symptomatic relief to the patients. So these include peripheral neurectomy, injection of alcohol or boiling water into gasserian ganglion or into the peripheral nose, or even su surgical sectioning of trigeminal sensory roots were performed, but these are of not much effectiveness. So the latest line of treatment includes use of anticonvulsant drugs such as phenytoin or carbamazepine, baclofen, etc. But remember, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are not effective to treat this condition. And please remember, carbamazepine is used as a therapeutic challenge when diagnosing a case of trigeminal neuralgia. It means when we diagnose a case as a trigeminal neuralgia and if the patient doesn't respond to carbamazepine within 24 to 48 hours then we should seriously consider the diagnosis again right and the latest technique however followed is microsurgical decompression where the pressure on the nerves or ganglia is relieved so these are some of the treatment protocols which are employed for treating trigeminal neuralgia and now let's discuss various multiple choice questions pertaining to this topic. So trigeminal neuralgia, tic dorulax is characterized by paralysis of one side of face, uncontrollable twitching of muscles, sharp excruciating pain of short duration, prolonged episodes of pain on one side of the face. So this trigeminal neuralgia is characterized by sharp excruciating paroxysm or intense bouts of pain usually of short duration. If you observe the first option, there is no paralysis as such in trigeminal neuralgia. There is only severe intense pain which is usually unilateral. Usually we don't find uncontrollable twitching of muscles. Only there will be spasmodic contraction of facial muscles of shorter duration after an episode of pain which is called as tick. And prolonged episodes of pain on one side of the face. So as I have mentioned just now, we find only pain which is of shorter duration or short episode. Now moving on to the next question. All of the following are true about trigeminal neuralgia except it's unilateral, throbbing nature, triggered by touching cheeks, mucosa, etc. occurs in bouts. So as we know, it's usually present unilateral. It seldom crosses midline. So this is right. It is throbbing nature. So usually this pain is severe lancinating type rather than a throbbing type of pain. So it's not throbbing. And option C, it's triggered by touching cheeks mucosa. So we have trigger zones and on touching them, there can be an episode of pain. So even this is right option. And it occurs in bouts. So bout is nothing but something which is acting for a shorter duration with much intensity. So option A, C, D are appropriate. So all of the following are true except this. So the false statement here is, it is throbbing nature, right? So it is more searing, stabbing and lancinating type of pain rather than a throbbing pain. The latest drug of choice in management of trigeminal neuralgia is, as I have discussed, the drug of choice is carbamazepine with a dosage of 400 to 800 milligrams per day, not exceeding 1200 milligrams per day in divided doses, right? Carbamazepine has been utilized to successfully diminish attacks in trigeminal neuralgia. During this therapy, which of the following is indicated? Option A, clinical observation only. 
Option B, clinical observation and complete blood and platelet count prior to and at frequent intervals during therapy. Option C, no monitoring. Option D, complete blood investigation only if adverse symptoms arise. So, the main drawback of carbamazepine is that there can be sometimes in some patients aplastic anemia and also neutropenia so to monitor the condition of the patient we need to advise complete blood and platelet picture during the entire course of treatment that's very important so option b is appropriate answer asked in previous aims 2002 so trigeminal neuralgia does not disturb the patient during sleep can be treated with NSAIDs always bilateral in distribution is a hereditary condition asked in Karnataka 2002 so trigeminal neuralgia is not hereditary it's usually unilateral and cannot be treated with NSI so the appropriate answer here is it doesn't disturb the patient during sleep right next question further gills disease is one of the synonyms for so trigeminal neuralgia also called as trifacial neuralgia tick dolorex or further gills disease and next question, which of the following drugs is not effective in case of trigeminal neuralgia? So carbamazepine, acetaminophen, phenytoin and baclofen. So all the drugs except acetaminophen come under anticonvulsants. So anticonvulsants can be effectively used to manage a case of trigeminal neuralgia except for NSAIDs which are not effective in controlling the pain. So such is the intensity of pain here. So option B is the appropriate answer. Next question, anticonvulsants frequently used in management of trigeminal neuralgia are asked in Comet 2010. So phenytoin, gabapentin, baclofen, all of the above. So all these can be effectively used for treating trigeminal neuralgia. Next question, features of trigeminal neuralgia do not include option A, paresthesia, option B, paroxysmal pain, option C, refractory period, option D, presence of trigger zone. So, Trigeminal neuralgia includes trigger zones, paroxysmal pain or intense pain of shorter duration and refractory period is also seen in this trigeminal neuralgia. That is, we have two terminologies here. One is latency and the other is refractory. Latency period is the time which elapses between the stimulation of trigger area and the pain onset. Whereas refractory period is something which occurs immediately following a painful attack and during this refractory period pain cannot be initiated. That is no matter how much stimulus is present over the trigger area there won't be any further attack during this refractory period. So features of trigeminal neuralgia do not include paresthesia there is no paresthesia in this condition the rest of the findings are clinically relevant right so coming to the last question which among the following is not a common feature of trigeminal neuralgia usually affecting the middle aged and elderly the most common sites involved are mandibular canine and maxillary canine areas pain usually crossing the midline of face sharp stabbing pain lasting seconds so it's obvious pain usually crossing the midline of face so this is not the feature of trigeminal neuralgia so these are some of the important points particular to this topic trigeminal neuralgia and also i have discussed few multiple choice questions hope it's clear right thank you